Now for a point of piece tonight, do you feel a little hard done by not to come away with all three? Uh, maybe, but um, still value the point against good opposition and I thought we played with great intensity throughout. Um, two disappointments, obviously conceding both goals um, and we have to do better moving forward with that. But overall, no individual let us down. Great team effort, including the crowd who really turned up and drove us on. Like I said, we didn't really help ourselves with the goals we conceded, but tremendous resilience to come back not once but twice. Yeah, I mean, you, you always look at body language, you know, when the referees point, point saying, yeah, it's a legitimate goal, and it goes back to the halfway line, no shoulders slumped, they just got on with it and showed belief, and I think that is a telling sign of growing belief within the changing room that disappointments will happen throughout the season, but it's, it's always how you react, and we reacted very well. It's not good tonight how much attacking intent there was to the performance, you know, right from the start to the finish, um, we're really getting at them. Was there anything specific in terms of approach you got to change tonight? No, no, we just tried to do things a little bit better each week in what we do and play at high tempo. Um, we've got good attacking players, can get on the front foot and drive at the opponents and good movement up front. Um, I was trying to stay organised at the back and I thought we displayed all that. Um, sometimes, you know, the individual skill, it's, it was lapped up by the crowd, which is, you know, makes us all feel very happy moving forward. Uh, but the aim was to keep moving the ball quickly. We knew with the, the team lineup that they said 5 4 1 in the first half, and they did change that to a fair turn, you know, more, more attacking, which gave us more to think about defensively, obviously, second half. Um, but it was a good game and a really good advert for the level. One of the individuals involved in the attacking play tonight was Jack Diamond, making his sort of return home, if you like. Um, how do you think he played tonight and what sort of value can he add to the squad over the season? Well, it's just, uh, we're talking about individual skill, about, about the moment where he nutmeg the leg and run around the other side, but he's got power as well, hasn't he? Physical strength uh, to ride a challenge and he, he's, um, yeah, he, he's such a, a great player for us, you know, attacking wise, plus he puts in an honest shift as well. He's not flaky at all, there's no ego there, so he really is what we needed at the right time. And finally, Friday night, under the lights, crowd of over 2,600 tonight, fantastic atmosphere. How much did the side and yourself feed off that tonight? Oh, we all fed off that. Um, I had to have a word with myself at one point because I was getting a bit irate first half, um, losing a bit of control, but I thought um, I thought that it was full of positives from the stand. I didn't hear one negative shout. You know, even when all the players took the knee, it was a resounding clap. There was not one boo in the stadium, which is, is fantastic. Um, it's what we want. But I thought the the overwhelming warmth from the, uh, the terraces to the players um, is a really positive sign moving forward because we've got to get numbers through the gates. And when we do here, they do make a terrific noise, a great atmosphere for, and platform for, for players. Thanks, Gaffer. I appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you.